I, I can cope on a one-to-one -one with a cigarette smoker. I can either sit in his presence or I can, I can escape. But I have no choice where it comes to automobiles and emissions and uh, pollution and uh, uh, pollution on a large scale by hospitals and corporations. I have no control. I go to the hospital and, and we destroy. Uh, we used to wash out rubber tubing. And I don't think any more patients got contaminated and, and more people got work because they they clean out the rubber thing and they autoclave it. Well, the autoclave now takes a lot of energy. You know, we have to use a lot of autoclave. But the plastic, does that go back? Does that disintegrate plastic? Go back where? Into the earth. Will it disintegrate? Will it, you know, be able to be replaced? Or is plastic, is, you know, like something that you just I, I bury? I can't answer that. I assume that plastic, even though it's man-made, will go back in. They're doing marvelous things with uh, rubbish today. For example, all the shit that goes into the toilets in Chicago goes into a uh, sludge heap that subsequently gets transported down the Illinois River to Fulton County. Remember all those strip coal mines down there? Yeah. Remember we used to come home and yeah, red, piles. Red piles. Well, what they're doing now, they're laying that sludge in there and reclaiming the land. After two or three years, they feel they can plant corn down there. Somebody is, finally took it upon Well, themselves. they've been doing it and for years. Milwaukee has been taking, taking its uh, shit. Why have they been so quiet about it? They're so quiet about it. Everybody is well aware of the fact that the so-called Millorganite, you ever hear of Millorganite? Yeah. Milwaukee? Organic oh. material. All right, what about They're here? Using, all what about all us the better golf courses use that. How about us here in Detroit? Well, we ever don't have a problem. They have a problem in some areas. We don't have a problem in Detroit. I don't know where to go. We have a problem. Monroe, for example, has a problem. The farmer down in Monroe wants to use the stuff on his land, but the neighbors don't want it because it smells like shit. His answer is somewhat like yours. If you find, if you feel it's going to smell like shit, it's going to smell like shit. You say we don't have a problem here. I don't think we're. No, no I, I said that you ask what happens uh, to the shit here. I don't know what happens. Evidently, we don't have the. There were some well, I mean, you said we don't Chicago, have Chicago. All right, let me go back. Chicago had a problem because, you know, they were evidently using it, and, uh, and uh, it was, in other words, uh, it could break down into whatever it breaks down. Of course, the water naturally goes back into the lake, okay? But as a sludge, the remaining sludge, evidently, you know, they just had areas in Chicago where they dumped it, okay? Well, then over a period of time, they ran out of space to dump it, so they had to get rid of it. So then they took it down to Fulton County, okay? And then they discovered, well, uh, they bought 15,000 acres down there, I guess, from uh, coal mines. They banned the land from the coal mines, and they started using that. They figured that I don't know if it's by accident or good management that shit they could use this stuff at the same time the University of uh, Illinois at Urbana-Champaign has come up with a way to reclaim the land. So in combination with both, the one thing that this sludge is missing is potassium. You know, the one thing that helps them grow is potassium. It just so happens that the rock-like land down in Fulton County is rich with potassium. So the combination of the sludge and the rock-like potassium-laden land that combination is going to give you the richest corn belt in the world, probably. Well, Beautiful. if somebody doesn't Okay, mind now you say we don't have a problem here in Detroit. I said we don't have a problem with the problem. I was referring to we evidently don't have a problem where to put it. Okay? I'm not really sure what they do with it, but I'm sure that uh, they must be dumping it someplace uh, in some kind of a landfill. But I don't really know. I don't really know if we have, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if uh, you know, what they do with it, I suppose, that they have treatment areas over here, you know, like over there in the Mara's treatment area. There is a treatment there. area. But what they do with the actual sites, I don't know. What they do? You mean the city of Detroit? Yes, yes. What do we the do metropolitan. What do we do here with our city, uh, with our... See, one day I was washing and I was, I was told that I was disasterizing the water because of all the loads I used to wash when the kids were small. 
and I could just see these heaps of, uh, you know how that detergent doesn't, uh, doesn't lend itself to, to going down the drain? Have you ever tried to get rid of detergent or sh after shampoo? How it suds? Yeah. 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 So I saw mountains of suds in the, in the, in the river, and this is when my consciousness got to started to get raised. I felt like I was polluting the streams, and all of this talk was about our putting the garbage and the gross waste going right into the system. And I don't, I, I doubt whether we do have a, whether we're sophisticated enough, whether we're uh, budgeting ourselves enough to, to work on that level. I really don't know. Who is it up to to find out? Because a lot of these uh, people who are in, in uh, politics don't know anything about it. It goes through this plant that, you know, I've, I've gone down to the waterworks on here on 8 Mountain, yeah. and there's even little fish in it. They come down, they, they go through all of the... Uh, yeah, well, I don't know where it goes. I, I haven't been studying it. And then we have to use a lot of chlorine and a lot of, lot of uh, decontaminants to clean the water. Come on down to something. How about people laying shit on each other instead of instead of laying the shit in the sludge heaps? Um, you know why I was interested? Because the water feeds itself into other waters. So if somebody's careless about their disposal, it will eventually reach the rest of us. And to leave it up to the hand into the hands of some of these kids like Joe, now in a year or two, he'll turn uh, respectable. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He's classic. Hey, Dad, long time to see. How are you? If he I'm should live, if he, if he lives that long. Dad, are you going to live here forever in this house? What do you recommend? I don't know. I recommend we can go to, um, Disneyland. <laughs> Let's go to Florida this summer.